All right, man, let's talk about we got these Detroit Lions fans who was pocket watching. Um, who pocket watching how Lions using their cap space. I talked about this the other day on one of the videos um, that I did. And we were talking about a mile ride could be getting between 26 and $28 million. And I kind of went down the receiver scale. And that seemed to be pretty much a... Uh, you know, um, that seemed to be pretty much right in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So now, you know, you pretty much uh you pretty much got fans out here basically, you know, saying that uh they worrying about how uh the Lions spending the money. Oh, I don't like that. I don't, you know, I don't know if they should spend that money on on, on that or pay Brown the same Brown that. I don't know where 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 the uh where the salary cap is gonna be at at this point. I mean, I really don't understand Lion fans for years. Y'all sat there and y'all were upset that they would never spend no money. Then also, I think the reaction also was to the trade of uh getting Jerry Sneed or Marshawn, Marshawn Lattimore or Carlton Davis. And I know Sneed is obviously on a, uh, what do you call it? Sneed is, is, is on a, um, on a franchise tag. He can negotiate a new contract, I think up to some point, uh, in July, maybe. And then you got, uh, I think Lattimore is under contract. I don't know if you would have to rip up his contract to get another contract. So I don't know if that would be the case, but, uh, you know, so I don't know if that would have to be the case with him, but nonetheless, you got a lot of people going around, you know, you know, pocket watch, Oh man, the Lions do this. And, but then what you don't understand, you can manipulate the salary cap by front loading, turning money into to sign and bonuses. And it's a number of things that, that 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 you can actually do um there's a number of things that you actually can do um to you know um to kind of you know keep that space spacing if that make any type of sense so you know you got a lot of these dudes out here something but well you know uh, you know, I don't like if the Lions spend the money here and there. Oh, this guy's not worth this. And this guy, man, come on, man. I literally don't understand it. I literally don't understand it. Y'all complain when they don't, y'all complain when they don't spend money. And then when they do spend money, oh, you shouldn't spend it here. You shouldn't, oh, he ain't worth this. I mean, how, well, how would you know what, what, what he's worth? The numbers say that he's very, very valuable. Then I would like to know for the fans that got an issue with trading and paying LeJerry Sneed or trading for Marshawn Lattimore, or even if it come down to paying, uh, even if it come down to paying St. Uh, St. Brown, where would you guys want to spend the money at? Since you want to let, you know, St. Brown go and where would you guys have, uh, would want to spend the money at? That's where I want to know. Where would you guys want to spend the money at? Because y'all make no sense. The dude has been playing on the discount since he got here, for real. Since the first half of his rookie year. You know what I'm saying? That's all I want to know. Where would you want to spend the money at? That'd be killing me. Y'all complain about them not spending the money. And then when they spend the money or about to spend the money, then it's, it's still a complaint. Don't understand it. Literally don't. I don't know about paying them that. Like, who makes you an NFL football appraiser? That's my thing. Who made you an appraiser? Come on, man. You see us throughout sports, boxing, basketball. 
He ain't worth this. He ain't worth that. You know what I'm saying? Who <laughs> made you an appraiser? Oh, you think that? I mean, I wouldn't pay him. I'll go get this money to Odell Beckham. And then I do this, and this ain't Madden, bro. Y'all, most of y'all ain't even no good at Madden. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> most of y'all ain't no ain't that good at Madden. That should be crazy to me. Mad crazy. Ooh, I'll spend the money here. And, you know, this is what I do. Um, this is what I do, man. This is, you know, uh, I'll go here and I'll trade for Lamar Jackson. Then I'll go out there. I'll convince Wes Walker to come out of, uh, of retirement. You know, then I'll move the lines down to San Antonio for a minute, man. Then I'll move back to Detroit. you be looking like, okay, bro. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you'd be like, okay, dog, okay, okay, home slice. This ain't Madden. This ain't this ain't this ain't Madden, you know, where y'all do these little team rebuilds and shit, this unrealistic 2K shit. And let me know to tell y'all, them Maddens and 2Ks is trash compared to the ones I played growing up. Only thing good about them is the graphics. You know what I'm saying? Only thing good about them is the is the graphics. Shit is trash. But nonetheless, I I I digress. But um, yeah, uh, you know I do this and I will carry the one over here and you know paying St. Brown. Oh, uh, I ain't paying no St. Brown. He ain't, he ain't really that good. Twenty six, twenty eight million. That's too much for St. Brown. <laughs> like I, <laughs> come on, man. The man is one of the most productive receivers in football. You know he can take it. He can take. He can catch a short, intermediate. He can take it to the house, and you know he's an under underrated red zone threat. Without him, Jared Goff will go crazy, bro. Pay the man what he owe. He been on the discount. Pay the man. He embodies everything to be a uh, to be a lion. He tough as hell. He's an all around great receiver. And it makes perfect sense. And you you know you get a top receiver, you got to pay him. You seen the list I just had up. So. Well, no receivers have won a Super Bowl making this that, man. History is meant to be broken. That's what we can say. History is meant to be broken. Records are meant to be broken. Now, and another thing I believe, I think somebody's going to score 100 points in the NBA and break Will or Ty Will Chamberlain record. The way they ain't playing no defense out there and all that shit, I had to just say that while I, had, while I could remember this. I think somebody's going to break that record sooner than later. But, hey, man, let me know. Uh, let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Appreciate the love support. Um, if you need to reach out to me, quick as well, probably DM me on Twitter. Or, um, or Instagram. Peace.